Feliz Navidad, people on Mizuka 23. Welcome back to Golden Sun, the last age. It's only two days away. Oh my god. Let's go up here. We're in Jupiter Lighthouse. <laughs> um, today is Tibbs Eve. If you're in Newfoundland. Tibbs Eve is the Eve of Christmas Eve. Or Christmas Eve Eve. Uh, what do people do on Tibbs Eve, you might wonder? Uh, they probably just, well, not probably, they usually just drink. That's one of the traditions we have, just be social and all that fun stuff. I celebrate Tibbs Eve, but I don't drink. So, I drink coffee and tea. Does that count? <laughs> but yeah, that's a big thing uh, tonight. Oh, Mass Tibbsy, what are you doing? Going on town or what, man? Um, no. <laughs> That's what other people are like. Uh, I'm getting the chest for this first. And then I'm going to speed up getting the other side. So this is what you want to do. And, yeah. Another tradition that we do here, I know, like, my Newfoundland subscribers will know. What I'm talking about now, they know what I, some people know what Tibbs Eve means is um, mummering. M U M M E R I N G. What is mummering, you wonder? Well, it's a tradition here. It, like the further away from the city you are, I think people still do it. It doesn't. You don't do it more so now because of. Well, what you do? Here's what you do, and I'll explain why people don't do it much now anymore. What you do is you go to people you know, basically people you know, you dress up, totally disguise yourself so you could have yourself like we're weird, it's almost like Halloween, like dressing up, but it's not scary stuff. Um, you dress up, put on a mask or something, or just like a, a pillowcase over your head or whatever, and we are eyes, with the eyes cut out and mouth all that stuff. Disguise your voice, disguise everything that would lead someone to believe that you're someone else. Like, walk with a gimp or, like, have a cane or whatever. And, uh... I'm gonna speed this next part up. No, not move. And, uh... You go to houses of people that you know, and... You, um... Host, or hostess, whatever, tries to guess who you are. And if... They guess right, then they get to you actually you know you it ruins your disguise and stuff, and you get to eat and drink and all that stuff. It's basically a party sort of thing, just going around people that you know, drink, talk, have fun, dance. There's always music going on, they dance and all that stuff, and um, I'm speeding this part up. But they don't do it more so now because we're like. You can't trust people nowadays, which is sad because it was a good tradition. I don't remember too many, but I remember a couple of years that I mean, like relatives and stuff, they used to do it here, like in the city. Some people still do it, like you only go to people that you know. Okay, we're done. And uh, it's just a Newfoundland tradition, just another way to get drunk. <laughs> That's not what we're famous for, but... We're famous for um, being courteous, have good hospitality, and having a good time. Uh, this part, let me think. If I go over there, okay, I'm gonna go this way. Ugh. Oh, I did it wrong. Crap! <laughs> but yeah, it's those are two traditions around Christmas time that we have. Okay. Yeah. Go in here. I want to get blown away. Yeah, I don't want to go in any of those holes. There's nothing up there. Ah, you poo head. Yeah, so today's Tibbs Eve. And tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And then it's Christmas Day. Holy crap. <laughs> it just got here. <laughs> Alright, so you want to 
Uh, there's two paths we can take. One leads to a chest, which is on your left, and on your right is the exit. I'm going to take the left path first. It is difficult. This part is difficult. It's kind of trippy looking, too. So those statues will blow you, and if you get blown over towards the wall, you'll get, you know, fall in the crack, break your mother's back, and fall down a layer. So what you want to do is you go run, stick as far to the um, left as you can. This next one's more tricky. What you want to do is try to go out around and uh, get back in before. Oh, I didn't do it. Before she blows her wind at you. I'll give it one more attempt, and then I'll just cut to a, su a successful attempt. And then I'm a practice file. Oh my god, it took forever! I think it was six tries, and I just got frustrated, and I said, I'll take the other exit. Big mistake. So, out around, and over. There we go. Didn't have to cut or anything. Getting back's gonna be a lot easier. And we got a phantom blade. And it's going to Pierce, because I already checked this and see who kind of has better fort. This is only nine. This is only one. Look at that. <laughs> it's like twelve. So we'll slide in here. You can walk on these bubbles, but just make sure you hover before you go too far. <laughs> or you'll go down the next layer. And we go big. Get our platform big. Okay. So same thing with this one, you want to stick far to the right, and now it gets tricky. So, I want to try to go out around, oh it didn't do it, out around and up. So I'll give that one more try, if I don't do it, I'll cut till I'm on a successful, well I'll cut till I'm on the platform because you know how you do it. Let's see now. Go out around. There we go. Didn't have to cut again. Wow. What's getting wrong with me? <laughs> and we'll just kill you. There you go. And we reach the other tower. Push this up. Oh. <laughs> Missed it. Push this in here to complete the circuit. And. Kablemo And hit the angel! I guess it's an angel. And they lift the cork. I think it's a cork. I'm calling it a cork. Epic cork lifting music. Alright, now we gotta get over there. How do I get over there? <laughs> uh, I'm going to retreat. And hope nothing resets. <laughs> So all I gotta do is go up the center. Yes, good. Uh, quickest way up there, I think, is this way. Now. Don't need to do anything there, but... Get that pillar out of there so I can... Get out. Maybe I shouldn't have like, retreated, but that's okay. I want to battle now and test out my new blade. Because Pierce has, like, maximum crits, or in increased crits. Okay, speed up. <laughs> ah, oh, here we go. Come on, do a crit. No, okay. Perfect. Go up here. I don't want to go that way. Or do I? Yes, I do. No, I don't. I want to go this way. Ah! Mia! Oof! No! Get it? Mia! Oh my god, Isaac talks. I don't have a voice for him. Is that... It's Isaac and the others! Isaac, isn't that a friend of yours, Felix? Um, well, he's my enemy right now, so no. 
Don't be that way. You two have been have much in common, even if you are in, at odds right now. But Isaac and the others came all the way to just try to stop us. But didn't you hear that? It sounded like a cry for help. What if they're in trouble? Ugh! I have to help them, they're my friends. Hang on, Mia. Don't worry, Garrett. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about me, I'm fine, but Garrett... Garrett, you're only using one arm to hang on. What's the matter? I don't... No, I think I hurt my arm when I fell. It's totally numb. I can't move it. You shouldn't have tried to save me when I fell in that hole. Oh, Mia, don't blame yourself. I wasn't going to leave you down there. I think they like each other. It's no use. It can't pull you up, Garrett. I'm not strong enough. Isaac, please. You've got to save Garrett. This doesn't look good. We have to save Garrett, and fast. No, I'm afraid that you won't be doing that. Who are you? Oh, Isaac! Ivan is back! <laughs> Me, while well, I'm cursed. And I'm... I get all. I don't know what his name is. If you're not here to help my friend, get out of my way. So I can do it myself. Your friends will have to take care of themselves. And you have a little debt to repay. Debt? What are you talking about? I've never seen you before. Oh, Ivan, I'm glad you're back, man. I missed you. <laughs> I'm skipping that one. Wait a second, you two look familiar. Do you know Satoros and Minardi? So you're not such a fool after all, Isaac. You you are right, we are of the same clan, the Fire Clan from the frozen island of Prox. Far to the north. Prox, never heard of it. Be su that doesn't surprise me. Our town hangs on the brink of extinction, and the seal placed on alchemy is responsible. What are you saying? That doesn't make any sense. Matters not. For soon Prox will recover its lost power. We shall bring Prox back from the edge. Then all people where will kneel before us. You think we'd let you after hearing all that nonsense? See you're You're a hindrance. And Felix is trying to help you. Actually we don't know Felix what Felix's object objectives are. And we don't care as long as he likes the beacon on Jupiter Lighthouse. Then get out of our way, we're here to stop Felix. Move or we'll have to move at you ourselves. Did you hear that, Curse? You actually want to fight. You mean to tell us that you'd rather leave your friend hanging? Tch. <laughs> so this is part of your plan. Coward, stop playing dirty and fair. Fight fair. You really. If you really are the brats who killed Satoros and Minority, then you've earned us. You've earned some new foes. But answer me this. Would you still cry foul if you were fighting us four on two? That's why you waited up here to set the trap and make me and Garrett foul. Ooh, the dastardly fiends! We didn't plan on snaring both of them, though. That was a pleasant surprise. So what's the deal, is it? So what's the deal, is it? You came up here to fight us? Oh, did you figure all that out on your own? Impressive. I'm quite fond of intelligent boys. Oh man, she got the hots for you. <laughs> I hope you don't think you're afraid. We're afraid to fight two on two. A fair fight. I'm sorry I misled you, but we have a third, a water adept, Alex. Who is missing in action? Alex, where is he? What's wrong, Karst? Alex, he's gone. What? Alex? Did anyone see where he went? We lost Alex. 
Someone needs to page him to the Jupiter Lighthouse right now. <laughs> My only regret is that I won't be able to wipe this. Oh, okay. We'll take out all our aggressions on these brats. You'll feel better. Okay. And they're fighting and healing. Felix! I get to coast. We're attacking Isaac and the others. Do you think Isaac and Ivan can handle them without me and Gadot's help? I'm disgusted that Christ would set a trap for them. It's dishonorable. What if Garrett loses his grip and while we're still fighting? There's still time. We have to help Isaac. Okay. Um, I'm gonna heal. I hope that was me healing. No, it wasn't. Well, it was, but it wasn't. Okay. I'm going through here. I don't have time for you losers. I have to save my friend. I can't remember which door it is, so I have to heal again. Poor Garrett hanging on by a thread. It's horrible. Alright, I know where I'm to now. I gotta go to the other side, though. Do 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 do. Do do do. Can I go through here? No. Didn't think so. Alright, we have to fix this trap room again. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. That's just fine. And I'm gonna speed that this up. And that's fine. Actually, no, I don't just do the trap room again. Ah, Felix, I've been waiting for you. Hmm? Ooh, he teleported. Have you come here to light the beacon? I have. And you're sure that's all you're going to do? Yes. I saw you watching Isaac's friends when Isaac's friends fell in the cursed trap. I know you, Felix. I know that if you leave Isaac behind, you'll regret it. You're not like me. You can't simply discard someone who is no longer of use to you. Well, you better hurry if you hope to save them. And he heals me for free. Everyone recovers fully. There you go. Consider it a gift. You can still make it. Go on. Oh, okay. Um, actually, no. We're saving that for 2012, people. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's probably, like, the worst move I could do. But, like I said, this is... Friday the 23rd, Tibbs Eve. The Eve of Christmas is upon us, and I want to enjoy it. I want, to, I want, I want you guys to enjoy it, too. So, I am Azuka23, wishing you a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, Season's Greetings, and a Happy New Year. We'll pick this up in 2012. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.